In recent weeks, the South African coast has witnessed a series of maritime mishaps involving major container vessels, raising concerns about the safety of cargo during turbulent weather conditions. The latest incident involves the MSC Antonia, which lost 46 containers overboard and sustained damage to hundreds more during a severe storm off Port St. John's. This follows another similar event last month, when the CMA CGM Bolan lost 99 containers near Richards Bay. These accidents highlight the ongoing risks faced by vessels navigating rough seas and the potential environmental hazards caused by lost containers drifting at sea. Last week, the MSC Antonia found itself in the middle of a storm off the coast of Port St. John's, resulting in a significant loss of cargo. As many of you in the maritime industry know, weather can turn unexpectedly, and this time it cost the MSC Antonia 46 containers overboard and caused damage to over 300 more. This event marks the second time in recent weeks that a major container ship has been hit hard by severe weather off South Africa. Some of you may have heard about the CMA CGM Bolem losing 99 containers near Richards Bay just last month. That vessel had to seek refuge in Maputo Bay before being redirected to Kevra for further assessment. The MSC Antonia, flagged under Liberia, was hit by storming seas about 29 nautical miles northeast of Port St. John's. According to the South African Maritime Safety Authority, SAMHSA, despite the heavy damage, the vessel continued its voyage without any injuries to the crew. When you consider the vessel's size, over 300 meters long and 40 meters wide, it's clear that managing such a massive ship through rough conditions is no small feat the ship is now expected to arrive in Cape Town, where a thorough assessment will take place, and the damaged containers will be offloaded as needed. For those of you navigating nearby waters, SAMHSA has already issued a navigation warning, advising extra caution. The potential risks to both navigation and the environment from lost containers are real, and efforts are underway to monitor the situation. Safety of the crew, the vessel, and the environment remains the top priority. Going back to the CMA CGM Bolem incident, the vessel, under the Maltese flag, faced severe weather conditions near Richards Bay last month, leading to a significant stow collapse and the loss of nearly 100 containers. After initially seeking refuge at Maputo Bay, the decision was made to redirect the ship to Kebera, where the damaged containers were eventually discharged. Sansa has called on all of us to remain vigilant. If anyone spots any of the lost containers at sea, they're urging reports to the Maritime Rescue Coordinating Center. This serves as a reminder to all of us in the industry that while we may be used to the unpredictable nature of the sea, staying alert and responding quickly can help prevent further incidents.